what's up guys so we're back uh it's been a minute i was busy doing um a lot of riding the last two weeks so kind of delayed on on getting this out i just wasn't home and uh i didn't bring all this mic and stuff with me which i should have um but i got some cool content while i was out there and i'll be sharing that soon so today i want to do a review on the brat pack from tight shoots and also the uh, Ridgeline pack, kind of like a fanny pack, uh, from Tight Shoots as well. So, um, I'm I'm down in St. George. I'm hanging out with one of my buddies, and he's friends with the guy who created these and owns the company. His name's Bob. Bob is a total badass, and you should definitely buy his stuff because it's cool. Um, I saw, um. I met him. My buddy was was getting one of these put on his bike that he just bought from Bob, and so uh, I was checking it out, you know. And, and in the past, I've had the Trailbound Co. bag, which I think is great. It's awesome. Um, but this bag really stuck out to me because it's built a little bit different. Uh, I've broken the zippers on my other bag, and I got a new bike, and I don't I don't have a bag currently. So I was like, oh, dude, since I'm here in St. George. You're here. You make these bags. Let me get one of those things. I'll try it out. Um, and it's kind of cool because he actually uh, made this custom for me. Uh, I was looking at different colors. And I was like, hey, do you have black? I'd probably go with my gas gas the best. And he said, you know what, dude? I got some red. You want some a black and red bag? I'm like, hell yeah. Um, so super sweet. One thing that um, th like the reason why I wanted one of these is, is just because you know, when you're guiding, we're doing these, these moto vacations and things like that. Um, I got to carry a lot of crap with me. Tools, first aid kits, um, spare parts, the list goes on and on, right? So getting that off of your body is nice because if you're riding, you know, this last stint, I put on about eight days of riding. And if you're carrying all that weight on you every single day, it gets pretty tiring. By the end, you're pretty sore. Uh, so I like to keep all my tools in this bag. And that's the one thing that this bag has more room than any other bag I've ever used. So uh, it sits right there on the handlebar, easy access, you know, client needs an eight millimeter. They want to change the position of, of something, uh, whatever. I've got the tools right there. It's kind of nice. So in this pack, yeah, keep all my tools, just kind of everything a KTM toolkit would have. Uh, plus some more like, you know, just with all this stuff I've experienced on the mountain, I've kind of changed things up and added and taken away from my tool pack. So a uh, couple couple things like uh, spark plugs. If you've ever had a TPI motorcycle go have a, a bad plug in the backcountry, it will never start again. So always carry um, spark plugs with me. And then um, I got like a jumper wire in case, you know, a lot of these newer bikes don't have kickstarts. So. You know, fan kits have drained batteries on me before, things like that. So it's nice to be able to jump start a motorcycle way back there. Um, comes with these, you know, volet straps. They're pretty cool. Um, you know, I assume it's kind of the same strap that Trailbound's using. Some other people, um, you know, one of my sponsors, Ordovox, on the Avalanche side of things, they sent me a bunch of these and I use these things for all kinds of stuff. Um, holding things on my Can-Am, uh, holding things on snowmobiles. I've put snowmobiles together in the backcountry that were wrecked with these things. Um, you name it. The lace straps are cool. There's a, there's a black line around. <sighs> so the lace straps are pretty sweet. Um, and anyway, it comes with one. You just go through the back here, wrap around your triple clamp. Um, you could also put on your fender. Or something else somewhere else on your bike but i like mine right there you know or i can easily access it right so uh just just an awesome product so far i'm i'm really pumped on it uh currently the outside of the bag's wet i just got done wash my bike had mud just caked in mud it rained in utah like crazy this last week and uh anyway everything inside's still dry so that's that's pretty cool i like that um, and then moving on this bad Larry, right? So it's like a fanny pack. 
Uh, it calls it the Ridgeline Pack. It's got a lot of cool features, um, you know, pockets, things like that. Uh, you, you know, basically, if I'm not guiding, I'm wearing this pack because I don't need to carry a lot of stuff, right? I have my tools in the one pack. A small first aid kit is what I'm going to build into this. And, you know, maybe a couple spare levers or something. Um, nothing too crazy, you know. And I really dig these water bottles. Um, let me pull one out for you. They don't just pop out. So if you're riding, you're not going to lose your, your water, you know. A lot of times I don't need to carry that much water anyway. Um, I'm always of the opinion that you are hydrated going into riding, not get hydrated while you're out riding. So these are pretty cool. Um, Bob was telling me a little bit about these. They're made in the United States. Uh, all his products are. He is the one that makes them. So uh, and assembles them. He gets his materials here in the U.S. But these are really cool because he was... You know, to tell me a lot about plastic tech technology. I, I should probably listen a little closer to him. Um, but he chose these bottles for a number of, of reasons. Um, but, you know, they are made in the U.S. And they, instead of having like a, a plastic lining on the inside, they um, it's silicone. So easier to wash out and rinse. Um, things don't go all moldy in these, I guess. Um, yeah, so... I guess we'll try it. We'll, let's try it out. So I last used this pack like two weeks ago. And I left some water in this one. So still tastes good. Yeah. So anyway, you can you can pick up these as well. Or they'll just fit like a regular water bottle. Or I don't know. A lot of people have like those a million different water bottles out there. So pretty cool. Um like I said, I'm I'm very impressed with all of it. Uh, the Brat Pack, unfortunately, I've only been able to, or I mean the Ridgeline Pack, Fanny Pack. I've only actually ridden it for two days um, just because I've, I've been doing a fair amount of guiding. So I've been wearing my, my vest. But what I will say is I felt so light on the day, the two days I rode with it. Um, I was like, yeah, this is awesome. Just not having all that weight on me, uh, especially my back. Um, I have a bruised spine. Uh, I was in a car accident a little over a year and it's been like a year and a half, year and a half ago. And I have a bruised spine. So, uh, you know, it does at the end of the day, I'm my back hurts pretty good. So to kind of alleviate that and not have to deal with my back, just feeling, you know, like it's in a lot of pain has been nice. Um, you know, previously I've ran the climb, um, fanny pack as well however that one dug into my sides a lot and i, I kind of get rashed on my sides and so i didn't really like it and also on the front of it the straps kind of float and go wherever you know this one um doesn't really have that it's got this adjustable thing and when you you first put it on you can actually cut it and kind of burn off the the end and you know size it correct to you you know your body which I thought was really cool. Um, and so I didn't really have to fidget with it. You know, I noticed when I'm riding, it wasn't really moving around on me either. I wasn't feeling it kind of jar on, you know, my lower back. Um, and that's actually where my injury is. My injury is on my um, L5. Yeah. So it's, it's cool. I dig it. You know, uh, both packs are really awesome. Um, and I'm just stoked there's some more options on the market for people. Um, I'm not saying the stuff that I've used in the past doesn't work. It all worked. However, you know, when I when I first saw this stuff, I just kind of wanted to tell the people about it. And I think Bob's pretty new in the industry, but his products kick ass. So um, definitely check him out. Give him a try. And uh, I hope to, to do more stuff with those guys in the future. Um, might see if he'll make me some kind of custom mount slayer bags or something, you know, that'd be, that'd be dope. I'd like to sell these on my website uh, just cause it's definitely a product I believe in and it's cool. And of course um, you can't go wrong, but yeah, check them out. 
and uh, let me let me know your thoughts if you do pick one of these up. I'll drop a link to the products in the description of this video. You can pick up on his website. Um, if you call him, maybe he'll do something custom for you too. May I don't know. I don't know. But um, I thought it was really cool that he he did that for me. Kind of made it match my motorcycle. Uh, that was dope. I I really <laughs> I'm really pretty pumped on that. That was cool and. And I wasn't planning on getting one of these, but he was making one. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, man, I have to have that. Like, it's just so rad. And I'm glad I picked it up because it did give me this new feeling, you know, when, when riding. It made me feel a lot lighter. And um, I'll throw a couple of videos, you know, showing the bag on me as I ride. Um, I was, you know, down in Moab rocking it. So it was cool. <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you liked this video. Um, please ask ask away fire any questions away down below and of course like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you next time